In September 2024, battery energy storage systems in ERCOT earned annualized average revenues of $22 per installed kilowatt. This scatter plot shows battery revenues and cycling rates in September. Each bubble represents a battery. The y-axis shows revenues, which range from just $8 per kilowatt to nearly $100 per kilowatt in one battery's case. And operators employed very different strategies to achieve those revenues, which led to daily cycling rates shown on the x-axis ranging from near zero to more than one cycle per day. In this video, we'll look at three batteries in particular, Flower Valley 2, Ebony Storage, and Republic Road. These are all two-hour systems with a rate of power of at least 50 megawatts. And in September, they employed very distinct strategies leading to different revenues and cycling rates. Let's dive into each of their operations in more detail, starting with Flower Valley 2. In this chart, the x-axis represents the time of day and the y-axis represents the proportion of the battery's rate of power that is either importing energy, exporting energy, or is reserved to provide ancillary services which are split here by color. In September, between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., Flower Valley 2 reserved 60 to 80% of its capacity to provide ECRS. It focused on energy arbitrage in the real-time market, consistently charging at more than half of its rated power during the morning solar ramp and discharging at more than half of its rated power during the evening solar ramp at around 8 p.m. And through the late morning and into the afternoon, it tended to reserve 80 to 90% of its capacity for ancillary service commitments. In September, Flower Valley 2 earned revenues of $46 per kilowatt annualized, 74% higher than the average two-hour system on the MEBES index. To do this, it cycled 0.72 times per day. On the other hand, Ebony Storage earned $25 per kilowatt in September, 6% lower than the average two-hour battery, while cycling an average of 0.41 times per day. Ebony Storage also often performed energy arbitrage in the month of September. However, unlike Flower Valley 2, Ebony Storage also received energy awards in the day ahead market. In September, day ahead one hour spreads were 20% lower than real time spreads at the hub bus average. To supplement its energy arbitrage revenues, Ebony Storage consistently allocated more than 60% of its capacity to reserve services like RRS and ECRS from midnight through the late afternoon before reducing its ancillary service responsibility to discharge during the evening solar ramp. Republic Road earned $13 per kilowatt in September, 49% below the two-hour average. It focused primarily on ancillary services. Across the peak price hours of the day, generally between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. in September, more than 65% of Republic Road's capacity was allocated to providing the three reserve ancillary services. As a result, Republic Road rarely cycled in September. Its daily average peak discharge was just 15% of its rate of power. In general, more cycling tends to lead to higher revenues for batteries in ERCOT. However, the highest earning battery in ERCOT in September earned more than four times the average, despite only cycling around once every eight days on average. Check out the full article now on the Moto Terminal to understand how this battery topped the ME Best ERCOT index in September. Thanks for watching.